for your support. And to the staff of teachers who volunteer their time, resources, and energy to support the vision of the pastoral staff, enforce the godly principles of Christian values and the parents, and support the principles of biblical teachings, teach a child the way that they should go and they shall not depart. To the young men and women who are being honored today, you have gone through approximately six months of training and have been diligent enough to complete the classes. Thank you. What is confirmation? Confirmation class lasts throughout the year, January to June, and meets every Sunday. The students study Christian beliefs in the life of Jesus Christ, Christian leadership, worship, the Bible, and what it's meant <clears throat> it means to be a member of the church. The class is like a Christian faith one-on-one -on -one class. There are timely topics and emphasis on biblical teachings and perspectives, teachings and perspectives, group discussions and hand on, hand outs, uh, hand ons on activities. It is a great place to learn of faith and be challenged and make a difference for Christ. Confirmation is the sacrament in which the Holy Spirit comes to us in a special way to join us more closely to Jesus and his church and to seal and strengthen us as Christ's witnesses. To confirm means to strengthen. During confirmation, the children's faith is deepened and strengthened, and through this sacrament, they are more perfectly bound to Christ and to his church. In this action of confirm confirming, the anointing shows that strength and power are being received from the Holy Spirit. The anointing is a sign of our consecration to Jesus Christ. Confirmed Christians become full-fledged members of the church and the body. They have received spiritual strength and special graces to help them better witness for Christ. Confirmed Christians are to keep on learning about their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. They are to live it, love it, stand up for it, and share it as Christ witnesses. I would like to share my personal experience. When approached and asked to become the confirmation director, I was skeptical, apprehensive, almost unwilling, and noncommittal. Yes, I am an elder, as stated before in the church. These facts was because I believed that I was too busy with my life and what I have going on at work, at school, in the choir, and time for myself and family. Well, when one makes plans for self, they don't always consider what God has in mind. Let me tell you, we started with 21 students on the first day of class, and due to some attrition, we are graduating 18. These 18 students touched my life in a way that I can hardly express. The transition of personalities within these confirmands over the last six months gives me hope and encourages me that God's will shall be done. I have spoken to several parents and pastoral staff regarding the attitudes and the growth of my students. Some parents have stated that they see a difference in their child. Some family members have been baptized because of what their child has brought back home to discuss regarding the day's teachings. The bottom line is that anything that is of God, do not question, just respond, and good things will happen. My good thing resides in the 18 who are graduating today with a better understanding of the will and move of God in their lives. Finally, I could not do this without major support. Yes, we need teachers, we need a venue, we need the material, we need prayer, leadership support, and the church family. But when you're involved, when you're involved completely, certain things, certain other things need to be picked up. My partner and wife is a major reason why this was able to be a success. If I were off doing those other things previously mentioned, she would grade papers, compose exams, organize plans, make copies, and keep me on track. Wanda, God bless you, 
and thank you for making me a success. Okay, now church, it is my honor to present the graduating class of 2012. Could my class please stand, and as I call your name, come forward. Pastor, I would like for you please to pray for them. I'd like the church to pray for them. They have been extremely diligent. They have been a joy for me. As you noted on last Wednesday, there were 14 of my students who were baptized. As stated on Wednesday night, the pastor said that there are two precious things that were given to us as an outward evidence of our togetherness with Jesus Christ. And one of them was water baptism. And the other one, as you know, we do every first Sunday. And that's a sacrament. So, Mr. Malcolm Anderson, Miss Brittany Boggs, Miss Trinity Bueller, Miss Gwendolyn Ms. Brown, Ayana Eckert, Mr. Matthew Fitch, Mr. Samuel Garcia, Mr. Isaiah Mr. Raphael Gonzalez, Mr. Stasia James, Mr. Tyreek James, Mr. Greg Kenny Proctor, Ms. Mr. Dominique McCoy is not here. Mr. Isaac Sutton, this is your graduating class, confirmation class of 2012. For the teachers, could you please stand and as I call your name, could you come and stand behind these compromises? Also as your support for what has taken place over the last six months. Evangelist Rashida Betts. <laughs> Minister Joe Tate. I don't see, Ms. Julie Coleman. Rodney can't be here today, as you all know. Rodney had a, a child over the weekend. But Mr. Rodney Turner, Elder Rodney Turner. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, young people, your youth pastor, Ms. Dana Cole. <laughs> Confirmands, to confess Jesus as your Savior, put your whole trust in his grace and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church, the body of Christ in which God has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races is a testament to you and your family. We, Calvary Gospel Church, are extremely proud to have worked with you during these last six months. Pastor new members. Thank you, Elder Creech. Does not this make your heart happy? Now, you need to see what I'm looking at, because these are some of the prettiest faces and handsome young men I've ever seen. Would you all turn and face the congregation so everybody can see who you are? Look at this. Look at this. Now, folks, this is it's what it's all about. Passing on the faith. Passing on the faith, preparing a younger generation for Christian commitment. Would you stretch forth your hand this way? Father, thank you for what we're celebrating today. We honor you, and we thank you for our young people. This is the church of today and the church of tomorrow. Oh, dear Lord, you're right. You said it. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. We pray special blessings on these young people as they stand at your altar. We pray favor upon them. They have disciplined themselves. They have given themselves in a very reverent, serious attitude to the things of God. And they've culminated their journey with a public confession of faith. 
I pray, God, that you will be with them now. And all of that learning, let it be translated into living. Let there be ministry in their lives and, and the abundance of your blessings and answers to prayer and the joy of the Lord and the protection of God. Be good to them, Lord. We know you will be faithful. Smile upon them. And, Lord, all of these workers, especially Gerald Creech and his team that gave of themselves, reward these individuals, replenish their strength, and honor them for what they've done for these young people. We commit them into your hands for great blessings, great blessings. In Jesus' name we pray, and amen, amen. You may be seated, and this church is proud of you guys. You may be seated, and we will see you at the banquet hall after the benediction. We have special gifts for you, and we could not be more excited about your commitment and your follow-through of that commitment. Thank you, Gerald Creech and Wanda, your beautiful people. North Point High School.